the problem probably lies more for Texas and Oklahoma than it does the rest of the SEC. Uh, you know, as you know, Cole, um, uh, it's a, it's probably going to be a rude awakening for those teams coming into the league. Uh, uh, Texas has struggled in the Big Twelve. Um, Oklahoma, uh, it, although they've they've uh, had an incredible run the last few several years, last year they obviously struggled and Lincoln leaving and, and all that stuff. Um, so it might be a little bit of rude awakening for them. But I'll, I'll say one of the biggest issues is this schedule that we're talking about. Uh, and specifically, not just picking the three permanent opponents, but and you mentioned it there about the rivalry weekend, it's the season-ending rivalry games. Um, when you readjust the schedule like this, you add an, uh, another conference game potentially, um, the big question lingers is, is – what are or what are the season ending rivalry games going to be? And you know you have the four ACC SEC rivalry games, right? You've got Florida playing Florida State, South Carolina, Clemson, Georgia, Georgia Tech, and Louisville, Kentucky. So you have kind of those four, um, but then that leaves obviously leaves twelve, and you take Egg Bowl and Iron Bowl. That's obviously going to stay on on the last weekend of the year. That's so that's four more teams. So that covers eight, and then I believe you have Tennessee Vanderbilt. That's always traditionally there. So that gives you 10. So you're, you're left with six teams that don't really have a traditional season-ending game, and that's Texas, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, Arkansas, uh, Missouri, and LSU. So what do you do there? Those six teams have got to be kind of paired together in some way. I can tell you Texas and OU will stay where, it, where it's been played for years on the, in October uh, around the state Texas State Fair. So you can't pair them together. Um, you know, LSU and Arkansas, Cole, used to end every season playing, yep. and now LSU, Texas A&M do. But Texas and Texas A&M have to play, right? So it would make sense for them to go Texas, Texas A&M, Missouri, Oklahoma, uh, and, and go back to LSU playing Arkansas at the end of the year. I mean, that, that would make sense. But that's going to be tricky because there's going uh, to be some pushback on, on all those things. You know, uh, there's, you're going to have to crack some – egg, so to speak, to get this schedule done. And, and a big issue is certainly season-ending games.